what it do? This week we getting even with the Count of Monte Cristo, the Alexander Dumas. Edmund Dantes got it made. One, soon he gonna start running his own ship like a boss. And two, he bout to tie the knot with his banging honey Mercedes. But whenever a player ball is relentless, you can bet they're gonna be a pack of haters trying to trip up his game. Danglars be jealous of his career blowing up. Fernand I fucking Mercedes sweet ass on the reg. And Cataroos just hating cause haters gonna hate. So these three little bitches write a letter claiming Edmund a traitor. Even though our true blue sailor, as straight as they come. Even the lawman Villefort takes a big old dump on Edmund. Since Villefort's daddy an anti-royalist snitch, he gotta make sure everybody think he on the up and up. So Edmund gets thrown in prison with no trial. While he doing that hard time, Edmund meets a prisoner named Faria. He learns Edmund real good and tells him there'll be a swole fortune stashed away on the island of Monte Cristo. And when they scot free, them players gonna be sitting fat. Thing is, old man Faria snuffs it before everything's all crystal and business. So Edmund hides in his body bag, escapes that trap, and flows over to Monte Cristo Island. Time to start making it rain, son. Later, Edmund finds out that girl Mercedes married Fernand after his disappearance. Skank. With all that fast money in tow, Edmund buys himself a new name, does a few good deeds on the DL, and vows to use the rest of that paper to f some haters up. Mm. Street justice! First up is Caterus, whose dumbass tried to rob Monte Cristo. Shit goes south when his greedy ass gets shanked. One down. Hater number two is Fernand. By slanging that cash, the Count digs up enough dirt to wreck Fernand and his family. Seems old Fernie got hood rich by betraying royalty and selling two peeps into slavery. Along with all of high society, Mercedes and his boy Albert chunk deuces to Daddy F, and that chump ices himself. Another damn. Next on the shit list is Villafort. Word is that Villafort's bitty got beef for some of her family. So the Count MC teaches her how to slay homies by slipping some poison in their juice. As she dropping them one by one, MC not only gets this sucker called out in front of everybody, but also gets him to convince his wife to kill herself. Cold blooded. When Villafort drops from top dog to bottom bitch, fool loses his mind. One to go. There ain't nothing Danglars love more than his paper. So that's exactly what the count f***s with. After jacking up his cash flow, the Count sicks the mob on Danglars' ass and robs him of every single dime he got. But it ain't all that ruthless, cuz. Our boy helps out Maximilian, the son of an old homie. He be hollering at Villafort's daughter, and the Count steps in to hook a brother up. After that, the Count rides off into the sunset with a honey named Haiti all up on his nuts. What a motherfucking pimp, man. I love this dude. This motif, blood. This book off the heezy with a number of storm and dark cloud images being slung up in her. Like when Edmund finds out he about to get by Villafort before he meets Faria up in the clink, right after Fernand gets put in his place. I could go on, player. After getting wrecked by them three haters, a storm be brewing on our boy's soul. And who could blame him? Like a bolt of lightning, Edmund's righteous living falls to shit in a motherfucking flash. And Edmund ain't the only one. Check what Villafort say about his daddy. My father helped to overthrow one of the mightiest of kingdoms, yet the rupture of a blood vessel in his brain changed all of that. Not in a day, not in an hour, but in a second. Bad sh can come at any time, and when it do, it don't give no warning, it just happens from one second to the next. Matter of fact, my day one brother Herodotus laying that same game in his histories. In truth, I count no man happy until his death for no man can know what the gods may have in store for him. It behooves us to mark well the end, for oftentimes God gives men a gleam of happiness and then plunges them into ruin. But happiness is too good for these haters. A split second of pain when that hot leg goes through that dome ain't enough. Edmund don't wanna just ghost them fools, he gotta make them feel the pain he been feeling. But you gotta be careful when you coming out that hard. After Edmund peeps Villafort's wife and son laying stiff, he started tweaking and realized he might have taken his whole revenge game a little too far. Cause like Franz say, hatred is blind, anger is foolhardy. 
and he who pours out vengeance risks having to drink a bitter draft. Make sure your drafts go down smooth by hitting subscribe and checking out my store. Peace, y'all.